Oh, Amaravati at evening, getting ready for Vesak. We are in the cloister. This is a temple. You can see a blue evening sky, the sun setting in the west behind the big Buddha statue inside. Yeah, the Buddhist flags and uh, I don't know what kind of tree, it's not a Bodhi tree. You see in front of the temple they did a cloister, a very traditional European, also Christian feature in Christian monasteries, uh, very suitable for the climate. That one has a covered walkway. So we go uh, all around. You can see the beautiful purple uh, flowers flowering here. Looks gorgeous. Someone explained to me the name of that purple flower, but I already forgot the name again. But I don't know, but they look great. Very beautiful, the covered walkway of the square cloister. With the flowering mauve flowers. This is the... style building but at the same time a Buddhist stupa shape, a nice blend fitting into the English countryside but unmistakably Buddhist at the same time. Let's see whether we can walk in. Maybe we go here if you can uh, see what the cloister is like. We're walking directly towards the Abbot's Kuti. Ajahn Amabo lives in the Kuti. You can see uh, in front here the Vesak flags and the beautiful evening sun. This is the direction of the uh, retreat center, which is currently not functioning as a retreat center because they are building the new eating hall, uh, the kitchen and the eating for the monks and nuns uh, is all happening in the retreat center currently and no lay retreats for that reason, instead only online retreats. This is the direction towards the car park in the distance. Here the uh, Direct like accommodation from this old school and uh, country school home built in 1938, which has been turned into a monastery with great effort. But still, the buildings are quite old now from 1938. We're getting closer to 100 years of age, and that will all be knocked down and rebuilt gradually in a huge master plan extending over many years. That's good, the retreat center facilities. Now we're back walking along the cloister. You can see the beautiful flowers. And here one can walk covered in that ease, even in the rough English climate. Once more, the mauve flowers. There's no evening puja today because it's the day before one prayer. Tomorrow is the uh, Vesak Uposata day. We will be doing party mokha in the morning. Here the view towards the eastern end of the cloister with the central basin with a tree growing, which is not a Bodhi tree. I'm not sure what kind of tree it is. Cloister. They have palm trees, and I asked whether they put them into a glass house in winter, and I was told that they actually do survive the winter here, which is amazing. I'm always happy to see palm trees. Uh, here there is very beautiful Vesak flags near the Buddhist Dhamma wheel, excellently done. Uh, please place your shoes on the shoe rack, so let's do that. 
a good boy, dressed him on the shoe rack. Now we walk into the temple. I'm not sure if I can talk in there. We may have to do that quietly because people sit in meditation, but I'll show you a little bit.